This is Mission Control Houston. Wednesday has been a science day for the crew on board the International Space Station, working on research in a range of disciplines to advance the mission of the station while getting set to receive a shipment of supplies that will continue to support that mission. Today, Commander Kevin Ford spent a part of his morning working on elements of the CRUISE experiment. That's a Euro European Space Agency technology demonstrator of possible ways to improve a crew's efficiency on orbit. Uh, Ford worked with a voice-activated procedure viewer and the procedural displays, testing ways in which a crew can be more autonomous as well as more efficient in their work, something that'll be even more critical for future explorers on missions where communication with Earth will be harder than it is for today's crew. Flight engineer Evgeny Tarelkin and Roman Romanenko worked this morning with the lower body negative pressure suit. That's a routine for Russian crew members who are preparing to come home. That uh, suit, which is uh, just uh, the lower body, uh, uses suction to uh, simulate gravity and allows cosmonauts to test their orthostatic tolerance after months in zero G. Flight engineer uh, Oleg Novitsky, who is going to be coming home with Tarelkin and Kevin Ford in a couple of weeks, uh, he spent the morning working on maintenance and then moved on to replacing some condensate removal lines in the Russian section of the space station. Flight engineer Chris Hadfield and Tom Marshburn worked together in the early part of the day on the integrated cardiovascular experiment. That's looking at trying to quantify the decrease in the size of a crew member's heart muscle over time while in weightlessness. Crew members do exercise and they're assisted by a second crew member who are performing examinations of them to gather the data to, uh, for the investigators on the integrated cardiovascular experiment. All of the crew members had one of their scheduled exercise sessions before the lunch break and a second afterwards. Uh, it's a combination of exercise, whether it's treadmill or stationary bicycle or strength work on the advanced resistive exercise device that uh, serves the crew members to help maintain their physical fitness and counteract the muscle and bone loss that they suffer during a time in the environment where their body doesn't even have to fight against the pull of gravity. After lunch, Romanenko, Hadfield, and Marshburn had a routine emergency descent drill. They're not scheduled to return to Earth until May, but a uh, practice descent drill in the case of an emergency is a, a standard thing for crew members on board the station. Novitsky and Tarelkin gathered equipment that's associated with a new Russian plasma wave apparatus that's going to be installed on the outside of the station during a spacewalk by Romanenko and cosmonaut Pavel Vinogradov in April. That, uh, apparatus will measure the electromagnetic field around the space station. Kevin Ford spent time in his afternoon setting up the combustion integrated rack for its experiment operations and then we'll move on to join Hadfield and Marshburn for a conference with specialists on the ground about cargo operations with the Dragon spacecraft. Today, the International Space Station mission management team conducted its launch readiness review and all are go for the second operational mission of the supply ship provided by SpaceX. It is due to launch from the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station on Friday morning at 9.10 a.m. Houston time and will be grappled and berthed to the station's Harmony module on Saturday morning. Hatches to the Dragon are due to be opened up on Sunday so the crew can begin to unload to 1,200 pounds of supplies and experiment equipment to be found inside. Then over the course of about the next three weeks, they will also be loading about 2,300 pounds of science experiment samples and other returning equipment before the Dragon departs and lands in the Pacific Ocean on March 25th. Ford, Hadfield, and Marshburn will be enjoying some off-duty time on Thursday and Friday while they finish packing return items and get in some final training flying the Canada Arm 2 before they go to work this weekend, a busy weekend of operations with the latest visitor to the International Space Station.